Today, we're talking wallpapers and what you can do with them. Stick around. What is going on everybody? Today's objective is really simple. We're gonna be messing around with desktop wallpapers. We're gonna show you how to change them, how to use them, but more specifically, how to add a wallpaper to individual monitors if you have a multi-monitor setup. So let's go ahead and just jump right in. To get started, the first thing that I like to do is find the wallpapers that I want to use, especially if you have a multi-monitor setup because you're gonna to have to kind of go in and add those individually uh, within the display settings. And that'll make a little bit more sense here in just a moment. So. The first thing that you may want to do is just find out what uh, resolution your monitor or monitors are. And you can do this typically by going to a wallpaper website. A lot of them will have like an auto detect of the resolution that you're going to be using. But if not, you can always right click somewhere on an empty desktop space and head on down to display settings. And then you can scroll on down to where it says display resolution right here. And you're going to want to take this information and use that for when you're looking at a wallpaper because if you find a wallpaper that is a native resolution to your screen, it's going to fit and look the best. Now, if you have a multi-monitor setup like I do here, you may want to figure out which monitor is which, and you can click identify right here, and it's gonna put a little number with a square indicating on which monitor that is. And that information will become a little bit useful here in just a moment too when we're adding those wallpapers because you can add individual wallpapers for uh, different monitors. So. Again, write down the display resolution there, and then you can typically go to like a browser and just type in like desktop wallpaper. And then you can just kind of look for different websites that have a ton of it. Like there's, there's tons and tons of websites out there that have wallpapers. And so let's just do, we'll do wallpapers craft. This one's a really good one I've pulled from here before. But over here on the right-hand side, you can kind of go through all of the resolutions and make sure that you find one that matches your screen resolution. Now for today's video, I already have a couple examples. So if I head on into my photos, into File Explorer, and then head into Pictures, Videos, Pictures right here, you can see that I've got a few different uh, photos in here that I like to switch out throughout the time. Now, of course, you can always right-click on one of the photos and then left-click on Desktop Background, and that's gonna set that wallpaper for all of your monitors, regardless of the resolution. So depending on the resolution, it may look good, it may look pretty bad, it may look stretched or pixelated, and that's why it's important to have that native resolution for the wallpaper. The, the best method to do is if you right-click anywhere again on a empty desktop and come on down to Personalize, and then make sure you're on the Background tab over here in the or Background section over here on the top left, you can see that we've got a few different options within Background. Now, the first step that I like to do, like I said, is you're gonna to want to browse and you're gonna to want to navigate to where you have those photos located. If they are in your downloads, you may want to move them into your pictures because for whatever reason with Windows, if you leave them in your downloads and then you set them as wallpaper and then delete them, within a few like reboots, the computer no longer has that image cached anymore and it will remove that wallpaper and just default to something else. So I tend to like to move them from downloads over to pictures. In any case, you can see that we've got a few of them in here. So you're gonna to want to click on one of them first, choose picture, you're gonna to want to browse, choose another one, choose picture, and you're just gonna to want to add them to where they are showing up under choose your picture here for all of the wallpapers that you want to use. Now from here, if you just have a single monitor, you can just right click on it and set for all monitor or set for monitor one, monitor whatever it is, you'll have only one option in there. But if you do have multi-monitors like I do, you can see that when we right-click, we do have set for all monitors, set for monitor one, and set for monitor two. And as I was saying earlier, that square with the number in it is a really good information so you can know which monitor you're setting that wallpaper for. So you guys can't see my ultra-wide right now, but that is going to be monitor two. The uh, screen recording that's going right now is, is monitor one. And if we minimize, you can see that we're currently on this picture here that, I, uh, that I've taken from uh, the, actually the Mavic Air 2 drone. But let's, let's go ahead and change that. So we're gonna bring up the settings one more time and we're gonna want to switch over to the mountainscape. So I'm gonna right click on it and I'm gonna set for monitor one. Now, if we minimize the display settings, you can see that it is swapped over to that new wallpaper. Same thing if I were to do set for monitor two. So I know this moon photo is an actually an ultra wide resolution. So I'm gonna right click on it and then I would set it for monitor two and that's going to set it for my ultra wide as the background for that. 
Now there are a few other options in here that you can use. Choose a fit is depending on, again, the size of that wallpaper that you've chosen, it may or may not fit correctly. And you can use the fit, the stretch, the fill, tile center. You can use these fit settings to kind of adjust the image just a little bit to get a even better look. Most of this isn't needed, especially if you're downloading a native resolution wallpaper for your monitor's uh, native resolution. So in this case, 2560 by 1440 is the native resolution of this uh, 2K monitor up here. So you can use those settings to kind of adjust things as needed. The other thing is under background, you've got picture, you've got solid color. So if you just decided you didn't want a wallpaper at all and you just wanted to have a solid color, you can set a specific solid color here and you can add, of course add a custom color and it will give you the wheel that you can add from. So if we set the gray like we have right there, you can now see that we just have a gray wallpaper. The next thing is if you wanted to do a slideshow. Slideshows are really cool because it can kind of carousel through all of your different types of photos. It will default to pictures, but you can always click browse and navigate to a different folder to where all of your photos are at and it will cycle through all of the photos that are within that folder. You can change the picture every 30 minutes down all the way down to one minute and all the way up to a day in between photo rotations. And then of course you've got the shuffle option, which instead of it going in a linear, uh, linear path, it'll shuffle through the different photos. And then of course you also have the uh, form fitting options in here as well. And there you have it, super easy to do, just as easy as heading on over to shop.helpcloud.com and getting yourself some sweet Help Cloud swag. Anyways, that is going to wrap it up for this week's tech video. Thank you guys all so much for watching. I hope you liked it and you got something out of it. Thank you guys so much for your support. If you did like the video, be sure to like, share, and of course subscribe, and we will see you on the next one. Peace.